In projectiles on a horizontal plane 2, we're going to look at exercise 3A and the selection of questions from there. Question 1. A projectile is fired with initial velocity 21 in the I direction plus 28 in the J direction meters per second. And three questions. Find the height after three seconds, the greatest height, and its range. So we know the range is the displacement in X or I. The height above the plane, we're going to be looking at displacement in Y. And the greatest height, we're looking at v of y being equal to zero. So just a quick sketch of this. It's getting fired up in the air. Greatest height is here. So we know that the slope at this point, the velocity, but the slope the velocity is going to be equal to zero. This is my s of x distance along the bottom. And the height after three seconds, well, let's say it's here, somewhere along here, time is equal to three. So Let's find the height after 3 seconds after writing our equations out. So, v is equal to u plus at. We're going to need that. v of x with no acceleration is just 21. s of x is equal to, we look at s is equal to ut plus a half at squared. So, s of x is equal to 21t. No acceleration again, so 0. So v of y, v of y, the initial velocity is 28, so 28 minus at, or plus at, but minus gravity, minus 9.80, and s of y is equal to my 28t, and this is going to give me half of 9.8, so minus 4.9 by t squared. So the height after 3 seconds. We're just going to use my displacement in y, so s of 3 is going to be 28 by 3 minus 4.9. You could write 9 in here, just 3 squared. 28 times 3 minus 4.9 times 3 squared. Just use a calculator, 39.9 meters. That's s of 3. That's part 1. Part 2, the greatest height. Just make sure that's a, a y there up here for v of y. So for v of y to be equal to 0, we're going to use the equation v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. So v of y is equal to 0. We get 0 is equal to, again, the 28. 28 to be squared. And it's plus twice by minus 9.8 by s. Or you can change s to h if you wanted. Now we're going to bring this to the left to make it positive. So we're going to end up dividing by this which will be positive. So we're going to get s is going to be equal to 28 squared over twice 9.8. So this distance, this max height, s max, if you want to call it that, if we type this into a calculator, works out evenly at 40 meters. Part 3 is the range. So from the examples we know, well, we know this is just going to be 21 times t, so we need to find t here. So what is t equal to here? We know at this point t is equal to 0. So what can we say about the height of y at this point? So it's 0 here, and 0 here. So if we get displacement in y equal to 0, we've already got the displacement in y up here, 28t minus 4.9t squared. We let that equal to zero and factorize, we get our two answers. We can take 4.9t out of both, and 4.9 by 40 over 7 works out as a fraction, minus t would go inside the bracket. So this is my initial time, t is equal to zero, and this is my t is equal to 40 over 7. So s of x, the bell going in the background, s of x is equal to. 21, we say it was 21, 21t, 21, 21 times 40 over 7, which is 3 40s, which is 120. Make that clear. It's 120 meters. 120 meters. Question 2 We're told a projectile that's fired with initial velocity 56i plus 56j meters per second. We should put the units in every time. Find its greatest height and its range, which we've done in question one, and then just new to this part is the velocity after four seconds. So I think it's good. Just do a little sketch if you want to. Greatest height, 
up here my range from here to here so here's my greatest height here so we know that the velocity of y is equal to zero at my greatest height so the same form again v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as so zero my velocity in the j direction of the y is 56 so 56 to be squared plus twice minus 9.8 by s or h if you change it to h so same last time s is going to be the 56 squared divided by twice 9.8 and 56 squared divided by 19.6 is going to be equal to 160 meters okay so for range and number two we need time so we know that t is equal to zero here and we know we need this time here to find the range so what can i say about the height of there's no height going up this way so s of y is equal to zero therefore write the equations good maths ut plus a half at squared just keep writing them and you'll remember them really quickly so s of y is equal to it was 56 and 56 up here 56 t minus 4.9 t squared now if that's equal to zero we're going to get 4.9 times 8 sorry 4.9 t we better take the t out times and that if we divide 56 by 4.9 80 over 7 minus t will go inside that's going to give me 56 so here my initial t is equal to zero and here t will be equal to 80 over 7 so range s of x is equal to 56 they are both 56 which is equal to 56 times 80 over 7 which is equal to 8 80s which is 640 meters so that's my range part three the velocity after four seconds okay so time is equal to four looking for v so v of x is the initial one there's no acceleration so v of x is 56 and the velocity of y when t is equal to 4 v is equal to u plus at so v of y is equal to 56 minus 9.8 put the whole 9.8 in the bracket minus 9.8 can't write today 56 i'll do the plus minus 9.8 by 4 so that's 56 minus 4 times is 40 so 39.2 so v of y is equal to 16.8 so my velocity after 4 seconds my velocity vector would be 56 i plus 16.8 j we were dealing in meters per second in this question question three we're told the particles projected with initial velocity 70i plus 105j meters per second find the magnitude and direction of its velocity after 10 seconds so we look at that so we have we need the velocity here so v is equal to u plus at v of x with no acceleration is going to be 70 and the velocity in the y direction is going to be 105 plus minus 9.8 times what 10 seconds so 10 so 105 minus 98 is going to be 7 so my velocity vector after 10 seconds is equal to 70 i plus 7 j and the angle or the direction the direction so theta is going to be the inverse tan of my j over my i 7 over 70 and that's going to give me on a calculator 5 we'll take two decimals 5.71 degrees for my direction and we're asked for the range so we need time time so we know that the, the 
displacement in the y direction is equal to zero. S of y is equal to u. You can put a y in here if you wanted. U t plus a half a t squared. So S of y is equal to the 105, which was my initial 105 t minus 4.9 t squared. That has to be equal to zero. So if I take 4.9 t outside, it's going to leave 150 over 7 minus t inside. So t is going to be 150 over 7 on my range s of x. It's going to be equal to ut, so my 70 by my time. So that's going to give me 10 by 150. So it looks like the range of this one is 1500 meters. In question four, we told the particle rejected initial velocity 49 plus 21j. The height above the plane when t is equal to 1. Okay, let's have a look at this. So here's my projectile. So t is equal to 1, say approximately here. So we need s of y in this case when t is equal to 1. And s of y is equal to ut plus a half a t squared, which is equal to my 21 by 1 minus 9.8 by 1 squared. So that's just 21 minus 9.8 or 21 minus 10, 11.2. But obviously 11.2 not 9.8 for about a half minus 4.9 so 21 minus 5 is 16.1 16.1 meters just be careful not to go too quick two times when the height is 22.4 so let's say it's going across here so the height is obviously going up it's maximizing it's coming back down so there's two times when the height is 22.4 so that again s of y the height is 22.4 so we're going to have 21 t s of y is going to be equal to 22.4 so this form is equal to 22.4 so 21 t minus 4.9 t squared is equal to 22.4 does 4.9 go into 22.4 i don't think it does so we're bringing we create a quadratic here 4.9 t squared minus 21 t and that'll be plus 22.4 equals not. So you can see here a minus and a plus, minus and a plus, gonna give me two minuses, which will give me positive times. So just be careful with the signs. Now, if I multiply by 10, I get 49t squared minus 210t plus 224 equals not. Now the first two divide by seven, the third one also divides by seven. So 7t squared minus 30t, and that would be plus 32. Uh, because we have a prime at the beginning, it should be easy enough to factorize. 7t times t and 32. 16 twos are 84. 16 and 2, we have to add them together. So 16 and 14 is 30. Yep, yeah, this works. So t is equal to 16 over 7 or 2 seconds when the height is 22.4. So I'm going to skip to question 9, probably do 5, 6, 7, 8 in class. So a bullet is fired, fired horizontally with a speed of 200 meters per second from the top of a cliff 490 meters above the sea. Shot it will strike the sea 2000 meters from the foot of the cliff. Okay, a little sketch here. So here's a cliff, I'm firing my bullet horizontally so it's going to go down like this. We have to show that this distance is 2000 meters. This is 490. So you can see here if it starts at this point and ends up down here, the distance traveled in the y direction is minus 490. Just be careful that you don't put in a positive. So we have our distance. We're looking for s of x. Well, we know s of x is equal to ut. There's no acceleration, so the a is zero. So we want to have a t squared, or half a t squared. So we need time. So what can we say about the time here? The time is gonna be 
when s of y is equal to minus 490 we're going to get t equals 0 and this time in here so s of y is equal to ut plus a half at squared so s of y is equal to what have we got here we have no initial velocity it's fired horizontally so we have a zero and we have a minus 4.9 t squared and that would have to be equal to minus 490 so 4.9 t squared is equal to 490 now I should probably bring it across well I divide by 4.9 I'm gonna get t I'm gonna get t squared is equal to 100 so if t squared is equal to 100 t is equal to 10 so for my s of x because it's fired horizontally there was no it's fired this way so no j in this case that's why we have a zero in here so s of x is my 200 times t which you can see here is going to be 200 times 10 which is 2000 meters that's that question proven so try the rest of the questions in exercise 3a and then we'll move on and we'll be looking at um greatest height and range in terms of sine and g